Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to give you eight reasons why I think Highland cows would be good for your homestead. Coming up. Number one, we have full-time jobs here, so we're not, we don't have as much time around the farm as a lot of people who are dedicated full-time homesteaders or full-time farmers. So cows are good for us because we don't have to spend a lot of time looking after them. Say for example, the, even the chickens, the pigs, the rabbits, we got to feed them every day, make sure they've got water every day. Whereas the cows, they're pretty self-sufficient. They look after themselves. As long as they've got some hay or grass or branches or something they eat, they're good to go, especially with the highland. Second reason, highland cows are easy keepers. They don't require uh, a lot of that really rich grass or rich hay. Uh, they're used to eating moss and tree branches and that kind of stuff. So they don't take as much money to keep them as some of the other breeds of cows do. So we have cleared a two acre section that we have fenced in and we're gonna seed it with grass. So that'll just make it nicer for them and provide them with more grazing area than just the woods here. The great thing is, is we didn't really clear any of this behind us. We cleared some space for the fencing and that was it. We've left all the trees up. They've made their own pass through it. So to get Highland cows, you don't really have to clear a huge, huge spot at all. You just fence in a good section, whether it has trees or not, and they can walk around in the woods here, no problem at all. They're able to get through spots that, you know, seems to be hard for us. They'll push, out, push the branches out of the way and just make their own spot to go through. Same with like deer, moose, and other animals. It just, it's amazing how they are able to do that. Number three, Highland cows are cold hardy. So we didn't have to build a barn for them. We did build a shelter behind us here, but they hardly use it. Most of the time, even in uh, minus 20 degrees, they'll be out sleeping here in the hay bale. So for that, it's really nice. They got that big thick coat, which helps keep them warm. And then what we'll find is they'll go down over along the other fence line where it's open and they'll be out there sunning themselves as well. So it's really nice that way that we didn't have to build anything to really look after them. We got the fence up and we built a small shelter, but otherwise they look after themselves. We stuck in posts every 12 feet and then put up electrical fence. So it's run from basically the garage over here and it's powered probably about an acre and a half here that we have fenced in for them. So that's what keeps them in. I want to put up some barbed wire though, as well on the outside, because the electric fence runs on the inside. So I just want a little bit extra security. Because one of the things with the Highland cows is they know how to use those horns if they want to. They can grab that wire, pull it off and get out. And we don't want our cows getting out. So we'll probably just put up an extra layer just in case, you know, help hold them in. We've never had a problem with it. I don't think we will, because they've got lots of food and water, and that's all they need really to stay happy. Number four, Highland cows calf really easy. They seem to have a better success rate than other cows. So there's less work and maintenance involved. Uh, there's less having to go out and look after them uh, check and make sure that uh, the calf didn't breach or anything like that, which is really nice if you're doing other work or you don't have time or you've left them alone for a bit, you don't have to check in on them all the time. The other great thing is Highland cows are known to be docile. They are very gentle to be around. Uh, they're nice. The kids can come out here and pet them and brush them. But you got to remember they are animals and they do have horns. So you always got to take precautions in that regard. But otherwise, they're great. You can come out and lay with them, brush them, look after them. It's really nice for everyone to enjoy. Number six, Highland cows are dual purpose. You can have them for their meat and you can also milk them. 
there's not a lot of people who do milking because they mainly raise them for their meat but it's kind of similar to like dual purpose chickens where you can have eggs and meat with the highland cows you can have the milk and have the meat as well you don't have to really choose one or the other you get both number seven highland cows can be a good income there's a lot of people out there looking for highland cows right now a lot of people starting homesteads a lot of people wanting uh, larger animals like the cows to be able to provide them with meat and milk so if you do start raising them you can always sell them sell the calves for a good price help pay for your feed help pay for any butchering costs if you're doing that so it's really nice in that regard you can always make some extra money with them number eight Highland cows are pretty cool with their horns and their long hair and their good looks we always get everyone asking about them and lots of compliments on them people want to come and visit them so it's always nice in that regard it's uh, one of those ones you can wake up in the morning and smile and uh, look at the cows and you'll be having a good day so I hope I've provided you a little bit of insight on uh, having Highland cows for your farm or homestead Thanks again guys for checking us out. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below and uh, I'll be sure to answer. Also hit that like and subscribe down the bottom if you want to stay tuned and see more of the cows. We'll talk to you soon guys. Thanks again.